Russian figure skater Kamila Valiva held a bright photo shoot for the magazine, Seven Days, and published several pictures in which she appeared in completely different images. Camilla also told about the beginning of her figure skating classes. Camilla, tell me, how did you get into sports? I think my mom immediately realized that I would be an athlete. She saw it in me and was not mistaken. I've been doing choreography since I was three. When I was three and a half years old, my mother decided to send me to rhythmic gymnastics, but they told her on the phone that they only accept me from the age of five. Then my mother took me to the ice rink, and they said they would take me on the condition that I would listen to the coach and not chew the ice. Smiles. That's how it all started. The first day I fell and got up, cried, the next day my temperature rose. As a child, I often caught a cold, and for hardening, it was decided to go figure skating for at least a year, Valiva said in an interview with Seven Days magazine. Why did you decide to switch to Tutbridze? If Tutbridze hadn't taken me into her group, I would have quit figure skating altogether. I didn't have a very successful season, and there were doubts about the prospects. I thought that maybe it would be better to do dancing, ballet. But my mother and I talked and decided to go to the Ateri Tutbridze group to watch. We knew that Ateri Georgievna could teach us something new. Besides, there are girls jumping fours. Probably, this was also a decisive factor. I remember my first workout very well. Everyone jumped endlessly tirelessly, and I ran out of strength by the middle of the workout, but I had to clench my teeth and work to the end. What do you think is the secret of Ateri Georgievna? Firstly, the fact that she insanely loves figure skating and is able to work 20 hours a day, 7 days a week. Secondly, she knows how to see all the positive qualities of an athlete and develops them. She is very demanding, she can scold, but also praise when necessary. He can say some words if he sees that you are a little untidy. She's also tall and beautiful. I try to look up to her, be demanding of myself, dress beautifully and look good. I have heard that Tutbridze very rarely praises his skaters. Yes, rarely. A Terry Georgievna praises only if there really is something for it. Of course, I want to be praised more often. But I know what it takes, to try very hard in training. And I'm trying, Valiva said. Is it true that the most important thing for athletes is participation in the Olympic Games? What are your memories of the Olympics? Yes, it is considered that the Olympics is the main competition in the life of an athlete. The Olympic Games in China were held under strict COVID restrictions, therefore, unfortunately, we could not feel the special atmosphere of unity of athletes of different nationalities and sports, which they tell us about. But we undoubtedly experienced joy, pride and responsibility. And since we were in the Olympic Village for quite a long time, then, of course, there was an opportunity to communicate and make friends with other skaters from our national team, for example, with Zhenya Semenenko, Andre Moselev. After all, we live in different cities, and there is no time to communicate especially at competitions, the process is too fleeting there. During the Olympics, a lot of attention was focused on you. Did it interfere? You know, attention can be very different. For me, the Olympiad was divided into two parts, a team tournament and a personal one. When we performed with the team, it was very exciting, because for most of us this is the first Olympics. The support of the audience at the rink and at the TV screens helped a lot. And in personal competitions, the attention was of a completely different nature, and, of course, it interfered and confused. Camila Valiva also refuted the opinion about the absence of childhood among famous athletes. I had a wonderful childhood. It is quite the same as for ordinary children and teenagers, studying at school and doing what they love. It was only when I joined a Terry Georgievna Tutbridze's group that I realized that figure skating is not just a hobby, it means a lot in my life. I'm used to daily workouts and when I don't go out on the ice for at least a couple of days, I start to miss the loads. I have been to many countries and cities for competitions, met interesting people. 
Sometimes it seems that my life is much richer than that of my peers. Maybe I couldn't walk aimlessly. But I always talk to my friends. Yes, we train for many hours, yes, we study in parallel, but there is still time for ourselves, even if it is a little, but there is enough time to meet friends, go to the theater and cinema, to museums. You just need to be able to plan your time and use it correctly. Now it has become much easier to combine study and sports, because online learning formats have appeared. Thus, almost every day I study with the teachers of the school. Are you thinking about what will happen after figure skating? After figure skating, there will be no less interesting and eventful life. And probably related to figure skating too. Smiles. There is still quite a lot of time ahead, but I think that after school I will enter the Institute of Physical Education. Coaching is a good profession. And if you link my interest in psychology and sports, then you can try to become a sports psychologist. Now the ice age has successfully passed on channel one. Your colleagues on the ice have tried themselves as presenters in pair skating. Would you like to try it? I am now at such an age that every day I want to try something new. To ride in a couple, and to be a presenter, and to star in a movie, and to play in the theater. By the way, I've been asked a lot lately if I want to become an artist. Probably worth thinking about. Why not? I like to try new things and am open to suggestions, said Camilla. And how do you feel about the negative, about publications where you are criticized? I don't have time to read everything that is written about me. And if there is something important and interesting, then mom will definitely let me read it. Of course, I sometimes see negative comments. But I try not to take it to heart. If the negative is constructive and rational, then I am ready to think. But I keep in mind that everyone has their own opinion and the right to express it. And, of course, I understand that I can't be liked by everyone. How do you perceive your popularity? Does not interfere with life? I am calm. While popularity does not interfere. Success does not affect how I perceive and see myself. I try to remain modest and polite, Valiva said.